Thank you. Thank you. And I will be uh, throwing some light on the national state and uh, city level actions, uh, especially from uh, the experiences of Kochi will be shared uh, during this uh, short presentation of mine. So we will go into the presentation. So the uh, Indian automotive industry has uh, grown multifold in the past few years, owing to uh, rapid urbanization, large uh, millennial population, increasing highway and infrastructure investment, and other factors. So with this increase, uh, the Indian electric vehicle market has also seen growth through government regulations and uh, investment outlays, especially in the areas of uh, affordability and uh, charging infrastructure. The uh, National Mission on Electric Mobility, which is a national level program launched in 2011, aimed to provide uh, government support on all matters related to EV and uh, create a synergistic method for long-term commitment and ownership among the stakeholders involved in the program. So soon after that, in 2015, we had the FAME one, which was launched by the Department of Heavy Industries to increase the focus on manufacturing of electric and hybrid vehicles with the scheme running from uh, April 2015 to March 2019 and an allocated budget of uh, rupees 895 crores was uh, sanctioned for this uh, project. In 2018-19, uh, FAME 2 was launched, which was an extension of the FAME 1 with increased allocation of funds over a period of three years which led to the rise of a National Electric Mobility Mission Plan in 2020. And that targeted about six to seven million units of new vehicle sales of EV and about two to 2.5 million tons of fuel savings. Now with the success of FAME 1 and the uh, natural initiation of FAME 2, few Indian states, including Kerala, have established their own EV policy. So uh, the uh, EV policy in Kerala was launched in 2019 with an aim to ensure sustainable development for its people. The state, being known for its biodiversity and environment sensitiveness, needs the transition to electric vehicle as a natural choice in line with the development ethos of the state. The number of private vehicles on road is expected to reduce with the introduction of shared e-mobility modes like e-buses and e-rickshaws that will provide a, a fatigue-free ride with reduced vibration and noise. This shall also act as a very important key driver in attracting vehicle owners to shift to electric mobility. It's also envisioned that KCP, the Kerala State Electricity Board, shall cater to the power demand and the state government shall ensure EV infrastructure, such as charging points, low power tariffs to ensure affordability, etc. The development of e-mobility must be integrated to the manufacturing ecosystem of the state, whereby the large number of startups and initiatives can be pooled and utilized towards development of the e-mobility initiative. So we have, what are the major important key policy drivers uh, for the state? The uh, Kerala EV policy aims to support the national commitment to reduce the GHG through its strategies. The other vision for Kerala EV policy includes promoting shared mobility and clean transportation by provision of e-buses and e-rickshaws, thereby reducing the dependency on private modes of transport and in turn improving the air quality. The policy also intends to boost the operational efficiency and savings for the transport sector as well as the transport utility. The policy also strategically intends to boost the hardware and software manufacturing in the state. Uh, the state level initiatives, uh, uh, the above, uh, the aforementioned objectives and visions, uh, in order to achieve uh, those, a technical advisory committee uh, called as the e mobility state level task force has been set up by the state government to initiate, develop, and sustain e mobility in the state. This committee scrutinizes the technology adoption and manufacturing proposals in the area and recommends to the government for adoption of the same. In addition, uh, the state government has also constituted a steering committee for the smooth implementation of EV roadmap. The committee will, you know, in a random review and rectify the progress of the plans and will provide necessary course corrections. It is noteworthy to mention here that the Kerala Road Transport Corporation has been sanctioned 250 e buses under the FAME 2 for intra city operations and uh, cities like Trivandrum have already started operations on a pilot basis. 
The state has been striving towards faster and immense adoption of EV through its policies and schemes. In order to ensure this fast adoption, certain strategies are being followed at the state level. Some of the implemented actions uh, at the state levels include uh, sanctioning of rupees nine crores for charging infrastructure. The uh, Kerala State Electricity Board Limited is a state nodal agency responsible for establishing charging infrastructure in the state. A support scheme for early adoption, including fiscal incentives like reduced road tax, incentives of rupees 30 to 35,000 or 25% of the EV cost, whichever is lower, creation of uh, e-mobility zones to familiarize uh, with uh, the public on e-mobility aspects, demonstration hubs will, uh, within the selected areas of certain region, categorizing them as uh, e-mobility zones. The potential areas includes, you know, tourist villages or the central business de development areas within Kochi and other works like first and last mile connectivity for urban transportation networks. Apart from that, uh, they're also focusing on a bus permit issuance. Permits will be issued for company vehicles and buses for employee transportations and uh, to IT part, et cetera, which will constitute a larger portion of commuters in Kochi. Human capacity building and reskilling is another uh, idea that's been thought about in the policy. The state government shall establish uh, centers of excellence for various components of EVs, including battery technology, software development, charging technologies, etc. So, uh, coming to Kochi, uh, the uh, scenario with uh, Kochi is uh, the city of Kochi is uh, the largest urban agglomeration in the state, um, which is strategically located with the dense network of rail and road and rail connectivity as well as water and air transport availability as per the data provided by the kerala state pollution control board the particular matter the pm10 at monitoring locations is highest owing to the ongoing construction activities and high traffic density the air quality studies indicate that the city needs to aggressively promote public and non-motorized transport as part of the city's urban development plan along with the shift to clean up your vehicles. Thus, with this picture in mind, backed by various mobility plans that has already been developed for city, like the city mobility plan and the integrated public transportation system, um, um, plan for Greater Kochi, as well as keeping in mind the national and state level vision for EV adoption in Kerala, the Kochi Municipal Corporation has introduced certain initiatives, certain noteworthy initiatives towards encouraging e-mobility. The uh, city level initiative in Kochi towards e-mobility, that's what this uh, slide is all about. Um, IPT and uh, auto rickshaws are one of the major modes of commute that constitutes about 8% of the model share and about 4,500 vehicles is highly used for achieving first and last mile connectivity for commuters. Thus, uh, the Kochi Municipal Corporation has uh, rightly tapped in the IPT vehicles for electrification of their fleet thereby ensuring reducing reduced pollution levels and cleaner mode of transportation. It was in 2019 that the Kochi Metro Rail Limited facilitated the formation of the Ernakulam Jilla Auto Rickshaw Drivers Cooperative Society, a first of its kind umbrella body in the district, which unified six uh, trade unions affiliated to various uh, political parties to streamline the IPT operations in Kochi. Now, EJX is operating the e-autos as a feeder to Kochi Metro, Metro on a rental basis as of now. So the Kochi Municipal Corporation is now empowering EJX to pro procure and uh, launch fleet-based network of e-autos operating along fixed routes that's been identified and that connect residential as well as institutional zones with uh, PT stations ensuring affordable and reliable IPT services to Kochi citizen. The society is also on the way to purchase its first batch of EOTOs with the subsidy offered by the local and the state governments. And of course, yes, we are also having funding support from the UN Habitat and GIC supported uh, smart SUT project. And this whole engagement uh, for e-vehicles, the idea of having e-vehicles, all began for Kochi with the urban pathways project and, and it, is, it is as of now proceed, proceeding well over the years. The Auto Rickshaw Society have also developed an app which is aimed at providing real-time information and offering trip planning and life tracking information to the passengers. About 1,000 drivers have been dropped in to be a part of this 
OSA app as it is called, and they aim to convert all the 25,000 members, drivers of Ajax, to an environment-friendly vehicles. So uh, we're just not talking about the uh, passenger movement. We're also thinking about converting freight. So movement of freight cannot be ignored, you know, while talking about uh, vehicular movement in Kochi. The, the Broadway and the Ernakulam, these are the two major uh, areas within the city where we have the, uh, the local commercial market. There are major hotspots for freight movement in the city that sees as, as high as 1,500 good vehicles on a daily basis at locations like Mother Pharmacy Junction and uh, Hospital Trust Junction. These are local junctions for which we have the high uh, inflow of uh, goods vehicles. Given this high volume of uh, freight movement and in turn the increased pollution and emission caused by these vehicles, the Kochi Municipal Corporation, with a view to address this pressing issue, introduced a new policy for freight transport to build strategies and policy in association with the Eco Logistics Project through International Climate Initiative to promote low carbon and a more sustainable urban freight through local action and national support. Thus, uh, the city, with the support from German Federal Ministry for Environment, Nature Conservation and Nuclear Safety, is planning for a pilot implementation of electric three-wheelers, cargo vehicles, which is proposed under the Ecologistics projects that is being implemented in Kochi. So in a nutshell, uh, uh, before I, I, I will, I'll just add to add a few more words, it can be you know, concluded that the need for a our multi-prolonged and multi-phased implementation roadmap needs to be realized and initiatives have to be taken up in place in policy level as well as implementation level, though uh, they are largely on a pilot basis. However, scaling up of these feasible proposals needs to be taken up in cities on priority basis so that the larger goal of attaining a carbon neutral city can be achieved. Let's conjointly hope uh, I can only talk about Kochi. So Kochi will be able to showcase a model example to other cities on best practices towards el electrification of, of vehicles. Thank you. Thank you so much.